friends, it's Sabisha Baker. I'm Maria. This is a quick video. I always crack up when I say that because I never quit. I'm going to show you how to freeze a cake. Now, 100 years ago, when I was married, the tradition was to freeze the top layer of your wedding cake and take it out and eat it on your one year anniversary, hoping that it was as sweet and fresh as, as the day you were married. Um, I don't even know if they do that anymore. I haven't done it in a long time, but I do know that when I have gatherings and parties i make an abundance of desserts and sometimes there's extra cake go figure so this was an example and so i'm gonna show you how to freeze a cake you'd be surprised you'd be surprised um that it's it's easier than it thinks but you'd never think to do it in a certain way right um i just lost my train of thought <laughs> it'll catch up later all right let me show you what we do Okay, there are a couple of ways to do it. This is just the leftover red velvet cake. And um, I'm, I'm, I want it. I still want to use it. Um, just not right now. The very first thing I do is take it as it is, put it in the freezer overnight. So this is hard. That's what you want. So you're going to take, it's going to be a little tricky, but you're going to take it off of the board Keeping in mind that air is the enemy of all foods, we definitely want to make sure to cover the bottom of it as well. And it's frozen, so it's it's pretty darn durable. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right back. I just just bear with me here. And it, it will get messy a little bit, just a little bit. So you're gonna take a plastic wrap. And just put it down. And I'm gonna do two two sheets because it's a an eight inch cake. Right next to each other. Alright, so that's the base. And then the cake is gonna go right on top of that. and it gets wrapped. Now, here's the part where it really matters. You kind of want to get all the grooves. You want to get as much air out as you can. Cover it and wrap it. Oh, hello. Maybe I should show you. How's, hello there. <laughs> Let's do it again. So we're going to cover it, especially, especially this part that's open and raw, and just kind of Keep it snug, and then bring the other part real tight. However you have to, to make sure that it's completely covered, okay? Then you're gonna take it here, and this is if you're gonna keep it for a long time, most especially a year. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing with foil. Now, the first thing you do, step number one is is freeze it overnight so it's it's pliable. You can work with it. Okay, then cover it in plastic wrap, and then cover it in foil. Now, I always um, seal seal the foil. Just. Fold it over and make and make a one solid piece. Okay, and take the top, open that up, and it's pretty sealed. This cake goes in here, and again, you just wrap it up and cover it, keeping it real close. And you can do this because it's frozen, so you're not going to ruin it or smash it in any way. Now, whipped cream cakes, you took, you're looking at a completely different beast. The buttercream, it's going to get hard because of the, the butter 
in, in the shortening. Whipped cream, this will ruin it. It's not, it's never gonna be hard enough to, to push onto it, you see, and make it firm and flat and whatnot. Buttercream will do that. The whipped cream won't. And I've never really, never really um, covered a, or frozen a whipped cream cake because I don't think I've ever had leftovers of it. So I'm gonna just clean this off, wipe it down, and then I'll put this back on there for two reasons. One, that way it has a solid base to sit on the freezer. And then two, when it comes time to take it out, you put it back on here. Now, so it comes time to take it out. You take it out of the freezer. First thing you're gonna do is put it in the refrigerator overnight. Take off the foil, put it in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, when it's still firm, you're gonna slowly take off the plastic, put it back on your board, and you're ready to go, okay? That's one step. The other way I like to freeze cakes is already cut up. And I cut them in a wedding cake size, which is a one inch by two inch, and that's a good snack. Um, have I ever showed you how to cut a wedding cake? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to. Um, so what I do is I, I take the whole cake and I cut them into individual slices and I lay them on a cookie sheet or two or three and I put those in the freezer. Once those are firm and hard, then I put them in a vacuum sealer, and then I've got an individual piece of cake to have whenever I want a snack without having to take out the whole cake. And it's sealed, it's plus, this is such a good cake, oh my goodness. Since it's out, <laughs> yay! Um, you can see that everything's wrapped, everything is wrapped so nice and secure, the, the designs on the side, and the blueberries and the lemon and it's talking to me <laughs> so yeah well guess what i'm going to do now but this is probably my favorite way to have it because i can literally go in pull a flavor of cake and just eat that piece you know so i have company over i've got a bunch of different flavors um wrapped just like this and so oh do you guys want cake what kind Hot chocolate, pull it. Lemon, pull it. Pumpkin, pull it. There's always cake in my household, baby. <laughs> so that's it. That I told you it was a short video. And very, very useful. So keep in mind and don't be afraid to um to freeze your stuff, especially if it's you know butter butter base. Butter base is going to make things hard. Cookies, you can freeze them the same way. This is my absolute favorite. But this is, you know, I don't have a vacuum sealer that's going to hold this baby. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to cut these into um, individual pieces like this. And then get a whole bunch of pieces in the freezer to go. That's a smile. <laughs> that's it. Okay, my friends, that's it. I just wanted to show you that. Until next time, happy baking. Ah, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.